good apple? Yummy. You want some of this? Would you like a spinach, an egg white omelet, and some whole grain toast? Yes? Is the toast you, what you want? No, you take one item. Take the toast. Oh, goodness. That's going to be messy. No. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So it's Friday. It's the Friday before Christmas. And as you can see, all I, I only have Avery with me at this very moment because Paisley finally started her ABA therapy, which we're so, so happy about. But now our schedule is crazy and it's really taken a lot of getting used to. Um, I've been eating out a lot to this week because literally like Tuesdays, Thursdays, and even today's Friday, but we had to make up her therapy for speech and OT since Christmas falls on a Tuesday and she won't be going to speech and OT on Christmas day. We did a makeup day for speech and OT. So we've been going from speech and OT to ABA all week long. Um, and it's really been crazy because I literally have to like run around, plan ahead, pack ahead, like more than I ever had to before now. So it's just crazy because it's a lot of back and forth, a lot of on the road, which is fine. Um, Avery and I are getting some one-on-one -on -one time. I mean, it's, it, we're still getting used to the schedule, but Avery and I were able to like yesterday after we dropped Paisley off at ABA, we were able to go to the living museum and you know, see the aquarium and all the, the living things and creatures um, and have lunch there. So that was fun. Um, but right now Will's with me. He went inside to pick up Paisley. Um, and we are on the way to dun, 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 dun. We are actually on the way to get Will a new car. Well, it's used, but it's new. If you guys remember when we first got here um, to Eustace, Will sold his Ultima. And by the way, I told him not to buy that Ultima. Like, was it five years ago when he bought that? I told him not to buy that um, for several reasons. But the main reason being that I think we would have benefited if we would have bought a minivan then. And then he would have taken over my smaller SUV at the time. So... Needless to say, it just was not a good car because, I mean, it worked. It was, you know, got him from point A to point B, but they're just, it's not a lot of space in a sedan. And when you have kids, a sedan just does not work. Kids and strollers, kids of young ages, sedans just don't work. Um, but now when he sold it when he first got here, but he realized that he actually does need a car. He was like, well, I you know, we live on post and he works on post. So why do we really need a car for him? But then he did not take into consideration like rainy days and snowy days and super cold days. And I mean, cause like it's been pouring rain and now that Paisley started her therapy and then he's calling games like refereeing games, um, for the city. So we both just have different crazy schedules and it just, one car is not working and you know, it just doesn't work. So we're on the way to get him his vehicle. He, I think, was looking at a Volkswagen Jetta station wagon. And I think those are so cute. I would totally, totally have a station wagon. I like that, too, if I just want to take his car and not the minivan if it's just me or something. But I still like having a lot of cargo space. That is perfect. Um, I was pushing for him to get something like a third row SUV, even like an older um, even like if there was like another van that was just a really good price, but, um, he decided he really liked this, which is fine. So I know that we've been talking about an RV and we would need a truck to pull that. But, um, maybe if we, if we come across an RV later on this year that, um, that we can drive that has the car attached, then we can, um, drive that. So, um, we'll see, but I'm so grateful that he'll have some wheels of his own now today. Haven over here. Ooh. 
Look at all the fun vehicles that are wait. Go get them, Tiger. <laughs> so there is the CarMax truck pulling in back there. I'm looking behind me and the CarMax delivery truck that transfers all the vehicles from one location to the next. Just pulled up, I'm like, ooh, it's always fun going to look at cars because just seeing like, you know, new cars and all the features and things that you like about a car. So Will has a smug attitude. I don't know, he's just got a lot of work to do today and he's tired and I don't know, he doesn't seem very thrilled. He was way more excited the other day when he found this vehicle online and he was just super excited about it. Um, but he's, I think, tired now. And it's been a lot of running around today and he's been working and I'm I thought about staying and going through the whole process with him or at least part of it but as you can hear <laughs> Avery she needs a nap it's now 2 20 she usually goes down for a nap between like 1 30 and 2 30 depending on how tired she is so I'm hanging out for right now just until Will gives me the thumbs up that we can go ahead home and then I am going to go home and put Avery down for a nap and then let Paisa just take a chill. She just needs like a little mental break. I'm going to let her just go to her room for some quiet time with the iPad and just kind of chill out. Sometimes she's been falling asleep a lot this last week. She normally doesn't nap anymore, but um, because we've had a busy schedule the last couple weeks, just kind of going out of town and stuff anyway. But especially now after therapy, she's pretty tired, um, especially going back and forth between speech, OT, and EDA. So um, I think both of them are going to take a nap. And we're excited because Louise is coming into town tonight for Christmas. She's going to be here with us on Christmas. I'm so bored sitting here waiting. I would rather go look at some vehicles. I want to see what they have. I would love it if CarMax had a, you know, one of those large vans. You guys probably think I'm nuts about... You guys know the van I'm talking about, that like 10 passenger, like huge, huge van, like those economy size, or I don't even know if they're called conversion vans because it's not really a conversion van. A conversion van is made to, I guess, uh, it's altered to be used for like, um, I don't know, businesses. Maybe it, maybe it is not a conversion van. Maybe it's an economy size whatever but you guys know what I'm saying those large size vans you know I don't know why I'm so obsessed with them why like what who wants to drive that big thing around like why what is the fascination I don't know maybe just because I've always wanted like a large family and lots of kids and then I'm I'm like it's just awesome because you can just have literally everybody riding with you but they had one of those here on their lot right now like right now, I would be looking at that. Not that we would buy one today, but I would love to see one for like future purchase. That looks fun. Let's see, let's play the game. If I could have any car on there, which one would I have? If I could have any vehicle on there for free, um, well, obviously I have kids, so I would take the van, but if it was a secondary vehicle, I would probably take that Highlander right there. Highlander is a Toyota. It has the third row seating. Um, yeah, I'd probably choose that. Ooh, it's moving. We're getting cars off. I've never actually watched this process. Although I have worked at a dealership. I bet you guys did not know that. When I was 20 years old, I worked at a Ford dealership in Northern Virginia. And uh, it, it, was, it was a different experience, I will say. Um, selling cars was not my favorite thing to do. Um, and it's a lot harder than it seems, especially, it's just, it's not as easy as you think it is unless you just live in a place where people constantly buy cars, like, um, a military hub. It's definitely a good place to be selling cars. This guy is driving the car literally off of the truck. I, I don't know why I'm so fascinated with this. I've never seen that done before, but I would be terrified to have that job. I would not want to be responsible for this, but... I guess they just unload them. This is the transfer. They unload them and move them and um, they get them checked in and probably just kind of get them checked in and put in their lot or after they're looked over. But these seem like they already have the stickers on them. So they're already, these are just a transfer from either another dealership that they've kind of bought it from or from another CarMax location. The guy probably thinks I'm crazy. He just, <laughs> I'm just like watching him drive cars off of this truck bed and just filming him. Oh my gosh, my windows are so dirty. Let's just put that down there. Sorry about that, guys. Oh my God, that looks 
so scary move. Thank you. I would be terrified of that right there, backing that up. No, no. Okay, so I guess he knows what he's doing, obviously. He's pretty skilled in this if he does this day in and day out. Oh, well, we don't need a new car for quite some time. I think I promised Will that I would keep this for at least seven years, so that was the promise I made for at least seven years before we got a new one. All right, so here comes Will with the new car. There it is. This is the Jetta station wagon, you guys, that Will just bought. It is actually really nice. I really love it. I'm gonna claim this as my car, even though it's his. Let's go take a look at this. Actually, let's start. Let's start in the back seat, in the back. Ooh, look at this. So we've got leather seats. And I think, I'm not sure what year this is. I didn't ask Will, but this is used. Oh, wow, look up there. This is really cool. It smells good. Will actually had a Jetta before when I first met him. He had this old, like, beat up 2006 Jetta. <laughs> it was a diesel. It sounded horrible. It was so embarrassing driving that around. But this is really, really nice. This is definitely an upgrade from the Jetta he did have. This is very nice. What year is this? This is a 13. 2000, this is a 2013. It's really nice, you guys. It's funny because I always said I would totally drive a station wagon. Like, if I was only planning to have one child or something, I would totally have a station wagon, like, forever and ever. But I'm more of an SUV type of girl. But this is nice. Although, this is good now because if we don't want to take the van and we're just going to, like, maybe go for a short trip up to D.C. for the day or overnight, we can totally... Just drive this so it's nice to have a secondary car again one car just does not work <laughs> like I don't even know what he was thinking but this is so nice I wish I had this in college this is really nice it looks good it smells good it's got a roof rack plenty of space in the cargo or plenty of cargo space in the back is what I was trying to say it's like a, a really nice full-size trunk very nice, and it's even got one of these, like my SUV had. This is like way more cargo space than my SUV. My, I used to have a GMC Touring when I first met Will, and this is like way more space than this ever had. Look, seats lay down. So yeah, you can definitely have two kids and like a full-size stroller back here. That's what I'm always worried about is having a stroller, like having my stroller fit back here, but it looks like you can totally fit a full-size stroller. Um, but if you want to maximize the space and you have kids, I would use like an umbrella stroller, a more compact stroller, but this is nice. happy it's Friday <laughs> no therapy tomorrow no running around I'm so excited and I'm totally planning to take Will's car I just test drove the Jetta like around our our street I love it I'm so happy with that car I'm acting like it's mine I know it's it's mainly for Will but he says he's not gonna be driving it every single day like he still wants to ride his bike to work but you know if he if it's raining if it's snowing if it's really cold now he has an option and he's not relying on me to take him um, so I know he'll think twice next time about you know selling a car um, but so now I'll have an option to drive the Jetta let's say if I just don't want to drive the minivan which I love our van um, I, I do I just you know sometimes you might just want to give your your main car break and just take a smaller car but it's also nice because if i leave town for the night or for the weekend i don't have to take a van and it's just me or something um so yeah we're definitely gonna need to get the kids two more car seats um so i've been looking online and um kind of everywhere else um to see who has the best deals on some new car seats so uh, what i'll probably do is just have the bright tax that we have now in the van we'll just kind of well, I guess it depends if we're going to keep the car seats in the Jetta or we're just going to keep them in the garage and just kind of take them in and out, which can be a pain though. And that makes it not easy for like, oh, let's take this car real quick. Um, 
I don't know, we'll decide, but we're gonna look and see if we can find some good deals. Okay guys, it's the next morning. Luis is here and she could not wait to give me my Christmas gift, which is just like a bunch of little gifts. We always get each other things throughout the year, so we don't really need to get each other like big presents, but she got me some jewelry from Kendra Scott and I love the packaging. I'm so excited to open that. And here's a little mini MAC lipstick. This is the color that I love to wear, twig. It's kind of like that natural, like pinky color. So this is for my purse. And then I've got some gift cards from her. But she also got me this for my Moscow mules. You guys know, well, if you don't know, I love a good Moscow mule to drink. I like wine, but I love Moscow mules. This is so cute. Nope, not today. So I am so excited. I love it. It's so pretty. It's a beautiful, like, rosy pink. But let's open this Kendra. Stuff. Okay, guys, excuse my appearance. I just got out of the shower, and we're about to get ready because Louisa and I are going to go over to the PX and um, peruse and grab a couple gifts. But I'm going to open my Kendra Scott because she's insisting I open this now. But I don't even want to open it because it's so pretty. But, oh, my gosh. With love from my sister to my sister. We call each other Dandelion. So that is so, 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 so cute. Merry Christmas, soul sister. Love you. You're a faithful disciple. <laughs> you guys, most people think we're sick. We love referring to each other, just these little fun little names like that. But, <laughs> ooh, I love Kendra Scott. I love, love, love Kendra Scott. Mm. Oh my goodness. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, oh my goodness, it's earrings. I love it. It's so pretty. Look, you guys. These are my new Kendra Scott earrings. I love these. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Thank you, Louie. I love. Oh my goodness. All right, we're in the Jetta. I love it. This is so nice. This is so cool just to be able to take this and not the van if I... We're not going anywhere, you know, with the kids. A little VW. All right, is this the volume? Yes. All right, guys. Well, we are off. We're gonna go to the PX and do a little Christmas shopping, but I'm gonna end the vlog here, and we're gonna test drive this Jetta and take it out for its maiden voyage. But thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoy this. Please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.